Hello everyone! Today I have the pleasure of standing right in the heart of Sierra Blanca, a luxurious urbanization just five minute drive to the Marbella Center, Spain, about to tour this classic mansion with French style gardens, which is another pocket listing of Jumelia Real Estate, meaning that you won't be able to find the information on this property anywhere else. This villa has been tailor-built to the owner's requirements, standing on a plot of approximately 4,000 square meters, 2,000 square meters built, seven bedroom suites, and an asking price of 20 million euros. So get ready for some unique and exciting insights into this beautiful palace of Marbella. And for those of you that want to find out more on this location of the property, check out on the link below my area tour on Sierra Blanca to find out everything there is to know about this gate and secured urbanization with 24 hour security. Approaching the property, we have a nice driveway with lots of space for cars to park and to maneuver. Naturally, at the end of the video, we will show you the garage, which is accessed from the bottom street and has space for like 12, 15 cars at least. The facade of this property is really imposing. A lot of beautiful details only seen in Greek architecture, like the statues, like this Doric style marble columns. I believe this style was used in the oldest Greek architecture known for its strength and simplicity. A grand entrance. I hope we can do it justice with our tool. Wow, right? First of all, we've got an altitude of nine meters with this hanging chandelier that of course is motorized. We've got lots of marble throughout, white and dark marble columns, marble balustrades going up this striking staircase to the upper floor. From here, we can access the guest toilet, numerous amount of closets, the basement, but before moving forward, I'd like to attract your attention, please, to this beautiful marble drawing set between the four columns that divides the entrance hall from the living room space. This is done with a water jet technology where the main big piece of marble is cut through with a pressurized special water jet. A very expensive feature. And if you thought that the entrance hall was special, take a look around at this living room. I mean, come on, with a height of nine meters and a total size of 130 square meters, I think this is one of the biggest living rooms we have toured yet so far. And what can I say? I mean, just the chimney is bigger than myself. We've got panel moldings on the walls. The air conditioning grids are smartly covered with design. The sofa is designed according to the original pieces from Luz 15. The hanging chandelier is even more spectacular than the one seen in the entrance. I like the concept of this round ceiling to the squared room. We've got more beautiful statues everywhere and lots of light through these beautiful French windows. Coming outside, we have this seven meter columns supporting this massive corniche. As you can see, the symmetry plays an important role in this property, very typical of such architecture. Just outside of this huge porch, we have the 25 meter swimming pool. On the east side, we have the main covered dining area with barbecue, outside kitchen, lots of space for dining with another garden area for the kids to play and further on toilets and showers so you don't have to go inside the house. And on the west side, you have this beautiful French style garden with massive olive trees, perfectly cut cypress trees and unique pine trees. Just take a walk around in your own garden. A beautiful add-on to the style and concept of this property. Very charming. To get a better feel for the distribution, on the west side we have three bedroom suites, each one of them looking to different parts of the house, to the south, to the west and to the north. Upstairs, the same distribution of three bedroom suites is repeated identical to this floor. On the other side, we have the cinema at the back, dining room in the center and kitchen at the front. On top of it, on top of the cinema, we have an office and on top of the dining and kitchen, we have the master suite. It seems like a simple distribution, but a lot of work has to be put in by the architects to plan these rooms so that they have the proper distribution, the right flow, but yet, the property maintains the right symmetry. 
The bedrooms have very good size from 25 to 40 square meters plus walk-in closet plus bathroom. It is important for bedrooms to have separate walk-in closets. Full ceiling is quite special matching the door frame. You can see that a special effort has been done to raise the ceiling height as much as possible in all the bedrooms. The ceiling height is 3.6 meters. All the bedrooms enjoy beautiful views, but my favorite view is from the center bedroom looking out into the French gardens. On the other side, as mentioned, we have the cinema, which can also be a games room or TV room or a mix of everything. It's 50 square meters and the fact that it's on the ground floor with all the natural light rather than in the basement makes it much more usable. The dining room is huge, at least for 12 people or more. Of course, we've got another hanging chandelier, access to the outside and it's pretty cool red color, which gives a bit more excitement to the room. The kitchen is placed on the east side of the property, meaning that it enjoys the morning sun. Personally, I think it's great to have the kitchen facing the morning sun so you can enjoy your breakfast. For that precisely, we have this table over here. The kitchen is big. Height of ceiling is great. You've got a big island in the middle, all the appliances that you can think of and perfectly connected with the outside kitchen and barbecue area, which is really important if you're planning to host a party. Coming up this grand staircase, because there's no other word to refer to it as grand, we have another small lobby with more marble drawings on the floor. On this side, we have the three bedroom suites repeating the same style concepts and ceiling heights as the bedrooms downstairs, but this time enjoying the sea views and the views into the garden are even nicer. Office on the first floor is a fine addition to the comfort of this house. The exact size that you want it to be, it has its own guest toilet so you can just close off yourself and work in here without being disturbed. The master suite on the other side has first small reception area prior to the bed space. We have a very similar design as the rest of the bedrooms. The master suite has a total of 90 square meters, numerous amount of windows looking out to the views, looking out to Porta Banus, beautiful balustrades outside, beautiful view to the garden, to the swimming pool. Height of the ceiling is fantastic, even if you wanted to, because the bedroom is so big, you could put a wall in the middle with TVs facing both sides of the area, a beautiful chimney, just as an idea, or keep it open plan as it is. And through here, we get to the walk-in wardrobe done in white wood with his and her side to it, or the other way around. Beautiful chandelier, nice island in the middle, ceiling height is good. We get a lot of natural light as well through this window. And then again, connected with the master bathroom with a lot of light, very good volumes and proportion. We've got Villaroy and Bosch sinks mirror sided with dark marble on the floor repeated in this huge double shower for contrast. And a freestanding bath here in the corner so you can just lie in here and enjoy this beautiful garden and sea views in total peace and tranquility. In the basement, we have a very big garage, very easy to drive in and drive out as it's leveled with the street. There are parking spaces for 12 cars, but you can fit in here at least 10 more if you want to. Then of course, there are plenty of storages, laundry rooms and so on in the basement, but most importantly, you have this one big room that's been left for the new owner to decide whatever he wants to do in here. Even though it's in the basement that has lots of light and all the pre-installations have been done to do, for example, a guest apartment with two bedroom suites or a spa with sauna, hammam and gym facilities. I hope you enjoyed this tour of a classic mansion in Sierra Blanca. We've got plenty more coming for you, way more pocket listings as well. So don't forget to subscribe, hit all those buttons everywhere and thank you for watching.